Heroes will be made and dreams will come true in the next two weeks. Who's going to capture our imagination by becoming the Cinderella of this year's big dance? Nick and I will find out starting in today's game between the Wagner Seahawks and the North Carolina Tar Heels. Hey, Brad, the NCAA tournament is the reward. After a long season of practices, tough games, and all of those other rigors, the tournament is their pinnacle. The Tar Heels should be able to put this team away early, Dick. What's the key to them doing that tonight? Hey, Brad, for them tonight, the keys are as follows. First of all, the point guard has to be the floor general. It's up to him to ensure that his team executes and has efficiency on both sides of the floor. Second, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. And lastly, get your man on your hip after the shot, block out, and get after those boards. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. Tries for two. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Fed the low block for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Looking for a good shot. There, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Hard foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. The center with the ball. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Tar Heels have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. Obvious foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. High post flashes for the ball handler. Got a guy right on him. Looks at the three. He shows the sweet touch. the outside he attempts the trifecta drains it inside for the bucket they still don't score he'll regroup Dickey still applying great pressure on the dribble Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. The center takes the feed. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dave. He's out of control, baby, out of control. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Controlling the ball. Goes up for two. Inside. Nice drop step. I tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Trying to pack it inside. This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love it. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Sinks the shot. Working around the perimeter. He looks for the bomb. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. I think they're trying to stay. He'll 
He'll visit the charity strike. Need to make that. He sinks it. Big time screen set on the defender that time. Standing ovation. You've got to love this reaction by the crowd. What emotion. What passion. The crowd appreciates their effort. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Offense gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Garrison is fired up right now emotional. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Great throw, hot move to the basket, Brad. I like the way he asserted himself drawing the foul. Wagner have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He'll go to the line. Rims out. He takes the rebound. Look at that spacing. The center takes the pass. Right at the circle. Nice shot. The power forward gets the pass. He launches a three. He's good for another score. Hands in his face anytime now, boys. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. Tries for two. It's good. Shoots from the top of the key. He hits the shot. The shooting guard gets the ball. He shoots from the top of the key. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. That basketball. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Dump it inside. Set that screen away. He shoots from the top of the key. Gets it to go. They work the perimeter. The frustration right there. He saw that developing. He was right there when the ball left his hand. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. The ball goes out of bounds. Here's a flash from the high post. the rejection. Ten seconds on the clock. For two. You betcha. Defensively doing a great job down there and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out and that's how he's winning that battle. Number 50 with the fake. Gets it back out. He fires it up. Way off target. Spin moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. For the bucket. I love the sky hook. You cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? 
That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> He shoots from the top of the key. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. He keeps the dribble as they reset. They'll work it around the arc. High post screen. Going to use it. It sticks. Looking for a good shot. He puts up the three ball. Great job of running the defender into the screen for the nice J. Trying to draw the foul. Perfectly executed. Makes the block. Working it around the perimeter on the dribble, gives it up. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Turns it over. Turnover, great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. Tough spot defensively in the post, but he got the steal. Wow, I could have made that steal. He telegraphed that. He was the Marconi guy. What a poor pass. Gave it up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The Tar Heels have been doing well this season. I'm sure their opponents licking their chops, wanting to knock them off. Hey, when you have a squad like this, Brad, you always have to bring your A game. Opponents will come after you with grit and boldness. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Great anticipation defensively. And back they come the other way. For two, gets it to fall. And they come with a double team to stop it. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Both teams are looking to get something going here. On the dribble, gives it up. Definitely a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper. Second one is good. it in double team now bad angle turnover city now always really the gate any offense Dickie's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Picked off with a bucket. He buries it. Now they work it around the
the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter. Outside jumper. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. That one's off. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, guys, both teams seem to be playing very conservative. We're still waiting for one of these teams to throw the first punch, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Gave it up. Goes up for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Picks off the pass. Easy bucket coming here. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Picks off the lazy pass. Been moved, not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. Jumps in. Great play to take that to the basket. Spacing that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. You get off the nice shot off the dribble by running the defender into that solid screen. From beyond the arc, he sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. They'll bring it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. They're working around the perimeter. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Picked out of the air. the circle they work it around the perimeter for two in and out dump it inside and they get the turnover on the dribble gives it up backcourt violation carelessness with the ball is never a good thing the offense sets up from the sideline. On the inside. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Look at that spacing. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Three. Hmm, that's not a good shot, given his abilities. Hey, a few more of those, he may end up on the bench. Looking for a good shot. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. 
Unloads. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want we'll to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. There's a double team waiting there. He's got some room. He unloads a three. There was no doubt about that one. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. With a rejection. And clean. Fakes it. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. Moving it around the perimeter. He shoots from right of the circle. He drains the bucket. He shoots from the top of the circle. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. Working it around the perimeter. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. Goes up for two. Doesn't go. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He's got a nice shot fake. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Check this one out! Entry pass in the paint. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Fires from long range. Off the rim and no good. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. He gets the bucket. Shot clock is dead. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. I'll tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Attempts the Hail Mary. Not this time. At the end of the first half, these teams are all even. If you missed the play of the half, here's another look. North Carolina has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy in moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry.
Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. They're working around the arc. He puts up the tray. Sinks the shot. Fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. And the ball goes out of bounds. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. The crowd loves this young man. He's very popular, Brad. He has done some great things on the court, and the people really appreciate him for it. Looking for a good shot. For two. Yes! Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. He draws a foul. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. High post flashes for the opportunity. It drops. He came up with a layup after he was fouled in the air. He deserves a standing O for that one. That was beautiful. He steps up to the line. No doubt about it. For the bucket. Up and in. We need to see that again, Brad. That's exactly what they expect from him. That young man is doing some great things for this program, Dick. Hey, Brad, he's expected to do all the things that will put them in a position to win at the end of the day. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. The shooting guard handles the feed. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Now they work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. This defense isn't yielding an inch. Hey, the offense looks very timid, Brad. Takes away the pass. Moving it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help some. 
They work it around the perimeter. They work it around the perimeter with the fake. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is sweet. He really is. The center receives the ball. Perfectly executed. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented boards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the battle in the paint has played a major factor in this game and is probably some of the reason why they have this lead. If things don't change in a hurry, this game could get ugly, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Intercepted. The power forward handles the pass for two. I'll tell you, great footwork, too, to create that opportunity. And then he's got the touch. What an offensive play. We're going to move it around the perimeter. And he'll kick it back outside. He launches a three. He doesn't get the hoop to fall. Nice feet. Gave it up. For three. Drains it. Good fake. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. There's the trap. Rims out. He got fouled and the bucket. He took it about himself, Brad. Big play, big time score. Just play, son. Just play. Let your game do the talking. Number 12 makes his first appearance. I tell you, this youngster can provide a spark, and he decided to floor, Brad. No rebounding that. He tries the three ball off the rim and no good. For two. Wow, used to scream perfectly, but the shot didn't go. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Great defense. Pushes it up. Leans in. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? On the outside. Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Sinks it. And a momentary look from three point land. The fake. He shoots from the top of the circle. Daniel dials long distance. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. For the bucket. 
That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. On the outside, he shoots from the top of the key. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going to down with ease, Brad. Looking for a good shot. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Stolen. And now getting back the other way. On the break. Kicks it out. Steals the pass. He pump fakes. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Looking for a good shot. Picked off. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately to block out and get good rebound position. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. They move it into the front court. The center receives the pass. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Blue heaven because of the wall-to-wall -wall Carolina blue inside the Dean Dome. Well, that's not it, though. The Spimmers Championship banners, retired jerseys, over 21,000 fans on occasion. It's a special play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The defender's doing a great job of applying wall pressure. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Now the ball goes out of play. If his actions weren't deflating enough, how about this? He's definitely provoking this crowd. Oh, oh Mr. Nestler, that's a no-no. Picks off the lazy pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. They still don't score. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the shot. Rims out. Up and inside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. shot from outside. The Seahawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brady's on fire. Gave it up. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. The Tar Heels lead by nine. it away. They get it out into transition. Strips the ball. He does the sweet fake shot. Robs him of the ball. They get out on the break. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad, as you can imagine, I am seeing a completely different attitude on the bench now than I did in the first half. The coaching staff and players, they just have looks of disbelief on their faces. And they're going to count it. Determination, baby. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. 
Good teams will get to the line often, but getting there is half the battle. You then must convert your free throws. The Seahawks are down by 12. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of play. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. Defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. He puts it up. He buries it. Take some pride on the defensive end. Big man spins down in the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. They work it around the perimeter. Launches away. He hits the shot. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Takes the pass in the paint for the deuce. That's a foul. Well, Mr. Vitale, there's the foul situation so far. Hey, Brad, staying out of foul trouble, then a stretch of any game is vital. You want to keep your opponents off the free throw line and out of bonus situations. He launches the bomb. I don't think that's the guy they want shooting that shot. Yeah, that's horrible, Mr. Nestler. Horrible shot selection. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. In the paint. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He went right through that double team. And let's see if they decide to double next time down. On the dribble, gives it up. Intercepted. The other way. He was doing a great job pressuring the ball and decided to go for the steal. A questionable decision, though, on his part because it resulted in a foul. That's why some coaches don't like it when players go for the steal. They end up with fouls or in foul trouble. He misses his first shot. Makes it. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Steal. Nice job there by the defense, knocking the ball loose, then getting possession. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. 
I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. He shoots from long range. He missed. Jumped in front to take it away. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Seahawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. the perimeter takes the pass in the paint and he scores despite the hack got the high pick for the bucket sweet looking shot he is super he really is Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. On the inside. He got inside off that screen, but he couldn't put it in. Up and inside. With a block. Up and inside. From downtown, the Seahawks have got to continue to get him the ball. That he's on fire. Cross court. Now they work it around the perimeter, looking for a good shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. And here's a look at the foul situation. Well, Brad, following and knowing when the foul is an important part of the game. If you have fouls to give, sometimes it's better to commit one rather than giving up an easy basket. Second shot, good. They're nailing the free ones tonight, Mr. Vital. Hey, this is where you win and lose games, Brad. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Shoots from right of the circle. He can't get the bucket to fall. He intercepts it. He runs with it. Goes up for two. Easy one. That's a matter of clock management, isn't it? about a great drive. How about the State Farm drive of the game? I tell you, he was explosive. He was up, up, and away. What a drive to the rack, baby. That was special. If you want to know how aggressive a team is, you check to see how many times they go to the free throw line. That's a great indicator. like in practice. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. We'll take the shot. They let him get into a rhythm. And 
Yet another foul as they're just trying to hang on here. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in close games. Second one is good. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. a little change in direction here, Dick. I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. The lead is nine. Nine is fine, Brad. They have to keep their composure and take good shots. He shoots from the top of the circle. He grabs the board. There's a double team waiting there. Moving it around the perimeter. They work the perimeter. Shots there if he wants it. On the outside. The ball goes out of bounds. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I tell you, Brian, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent, controlling the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in the perimeter. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Dick, I think we saw a good tournament game. Both teams played pretty well, and, you know, I, I feel bad for the team that's got to go home. Well, the better team won because they protected the basketball. They made sure they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about. And that was the difference in the game. The Tar Heels came, they saw, and they conquered their first-round foe, Dick. I tell you, Brad, watch out for this team because the coach has these kids playing with more intensity than they ever did during a regular season. And I'm going to tell you, it's going to serve them well as now they shift into gear for that second-round matchup. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.